Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's going to be a haul, a collective haul, I should say. Um, mostly from Amazon and Burlington. And it's going to be like beauty related and sometimes even fashion. So for example, I got this bag from Burlington. It's not Nautica. It was $24.99, you guys. Like, how crazy is that? And the original price was $109. Now, this is a very good size bag for me because I do carry a lot of things with me. So this is perfect. I was so happy and it's like nice and classy. I got this huge, gorgeous candle. Look at that. How pretty is it? And it smells amazing. Mm. It's this cold, cozy cashmere. It smells like vanilla maybe a little bit of cinnamon and then i couldn't not pick this one up it's a candle holder it's a decent size one and it was let's see this is by company smith and gold made in india what how much did i pay for it oh it was on clearance as well so i paid 3.99 which is like what that's amazing and you guys can also see some of these things right here, like this little, I don't know if this is like considered a tree or what it is, but um, it's very pretty and it turns on and off. Maybe I'll demonstrate it um, when I turn off my lights and just kind of demonstrate what it looks like. But it has these little holes that the light peeks through and I think it looks great um, just as a decoration. And then we have this little Christmas tree. Same thing, it has the on and all button. It even has a timer. Let's move on. So I already got into the Crest 3D whitening strips. I've been wanting to try them again. The one time I tried these, uh, I had very bad tea sensitivity. I've used like three of them now and haven't had, oh my God, fingers crossed, haven't had any sensitivity yet. All right, then I also like already got into this brush right here. It's a wooden brush. It was like $7.99. It was on a discount and uh, I didn't realize how good, like how much I'm gonna like it. And so this is by a company called Gainwell. I was like skeptical about it, but it's so, it's like so nice and soft. And I feel like I it doesn't tug and pull my hair as much. By the way, my hair is in such a better shape. I've been using hair masks, I've been using castor oil, playing around with different shampoos and conditioners to see which one works better for me. I did get another brush. Now the company name is Framar and I didn't open that one yet. It had good reviews. Okay. And this was also under $10. Now this one I got to do like blow drying with. Let me see, I'm just gonna test it out. Same thing, like pretty nice and soft and gentle on my hair. I do like it so far. We will see how it works with my dryer. All right, let's get back into here. I did a little go a little bit overboard on Prime Day and I got like four different uh, teeth whitening strips packages from different brands. Some of them were very like affordable, about $10. Actually, most of them were $10 now that I think about it. This one I remember hearing about, the Luminex company, but the other three I don't remember hearing about. This is the Gloridea, Persmax, and Rosalind Boutique. Now, I really wanted to get them because they don't expire super fast and I do need my teeth whitened pretty frequently because I drink a lot of tea and coffee and I feel like I'm gonna go through these before they expire anyways. And this way I'll give, like, you know, I'll get a chance to try them out, see which ones I like. And plus all four of them are very affordable compared to like Crest Whitening Shrimps, for example. Plus they were on huge, huge sale, like at least 50% off. Now another category that I went a little bit overboard with was uh, skincare. And 
I only shop for the ones that were on sale because why not, right? I'm pretty sure I showed it to you guys before, but this company, Gosarax, I've been really into lately. It's very affordable, but very, very good. It's a Korean company. And so a lot of times they do uh, discount their items during like Amazon Prime Day. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I get some. I got the Propolis Light Cream. I've been looking at that one before. And then... I got this Retinol O1 Super Vitamin E. This cream I already tried a few times and oh my skin went really, really dry after that. Now I know you have to be careful with retinol when you use it, uh, but yeah, my skin didn't like it at all. I used it like three times and my skin almost started peeling. So I get, but then, then once I scrubbed it off and a few days went by, I feel like my skin has been in better shape. I need to research more about retinol. Another thing from that company is BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And I believe this is like a toner. Advanced Snail 96 Mucinin Power Essence. I was like so happy when I saw that Tatcha products went on sale during the Prime Day. And this is their uh, like face wash. It's the, the rice wash. Now I used it once or twice already and I really like the way my face feels after I wash with this. It also has like little, little tiny, tiny granules that I they probably exfoliate, that's what they're for, there for. Another company that has been coming up on my feed and like when I log into my Amazon is this one. It's the Seoul Suticals. Another Korean company is vitamin E, vitamin B5, organic green tea. So multifunction all-in-one anti-aging snail repair cream. I actually remember adding it to my cart a while back because I was interested since it has lots and lots of positive reviews. So I figured when it goes on sale, that's when I'm going to get it. Got some hand creams, you guys. My hands are in terrible, terrible shape. I sanitize and wash my hands since I work for the hospital crazy amount of times a day. That leaves them super dry during summer and like extremely, extremely dry during winter. And during winter, it's very, very hard for me to replenish that moisture. I read really good reviews about this Gold Bond cream. It's, it's called Healing Hand Cream with Aloe and it says that it lasts through hand wash, probably not the hand wash with the soap that I use in the hospital because it's a very strong one. And then another one is the Rose Hand Cream Vitamin E. Let's see, which? Oh, it's the Mario Badesco. It has a sticker on it. We have the Bulgarian Rose Hydration and Anti-Aging anti Crystal Jelly Mask. This is another thing that was sitting in my cart for a while because it is a bit pricey and I wanted to wait till it goes on sale during Prime Day to get it. And I did not expect it to be in powder form. I don't know why, I guess I just didn't research it enough. Uh, but it had amazing reviews, so I really wanted to try it out. And I have high hopes for this. Oh, at the bottom of the bag was this little guy, the, the Cosar X Blemish Spot Drying Lotion. Again, nice reviews, and so when you have that little pimple that's, you know, just sitting there and you want to poke at it, pick at it, do not. Get yourself a drying lotion. I think it's been working very well. All right, just a few more things, and then we're done. This one I got at Burlington. So, Sea Salt Aloe Foot Mask. It was $4.99, and I wanted to try a foot mask. I've never had them before. I've tried foot creams, but not the mask. So, and I kind of need it, my, my heels could use it. All right, now, last two products are these exfoliating mitts. I think that's what they're called. Um, deep exfoliating body scrubbed. This is by Dermasuri. And then this one is by um, a Korean company. It's called uh, Earbiz. Bad series. So this one I didn't try yet. This one I already have been using. And oh my god, I cannot believe I didn't discover this product before. It's pretty amazing. Very simple to use, like before you use your soap. Um, you actually might want to do it separately, like initially when you first started out. Like just soak your skin in for a few minutes in warm water. And then just start to scrub. It exfoliates the best out of everything I've tried. I've tried different scrubs, exfoliators. 
different like brushes and stuff and this thing leaves my skin the smoothest so i absolutely love it all right guys that's it for this haul thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye